everybody, it's Coach Morton here with OnlineBikeCoach.com, and I'm here with my friend Dusty up here at Reno. And today we're going to go get an exert breakthrough. We're going to go through and do the standard warm up that I've talked about before, where we do 30 second intervals and four and a half minute recoveries, and then we're going to roll into my ubiquitous Biot 3030s. But we're also going to measure his VO2 max and his muscle oxygen at the same time. So follow along. Okay, now. For the beginning cyclist, let me tell you what these numbers mean and why they're important. We're going to start on the lower right hand side in the big number that says VO2. This is the number that measures your genetic potential. It can be modified a little bit here and there with weight, but our goal is to try to get that number up as high as it can get, as long as it can get using the information that we have available. And he weighs in at 70 and a half kilos, so he's gonna be, this is gonna be a great test. Above that, we've got wattage. Well, you know how I feel about power. Power is the number by which everything else gets measured. So we're using physiology on the bottom, power in the middle. At the top, we've got this thing called tidal volume. And that is how much of his lung he is using at any one given point in time. Right now, it's at one and a half liters. If we go down and to the right, two of my favorite uh, metrics are these things called SMO2, which stands for saturated muscle oxygen, and THB, which is his total hemoglobin. And what that means is this. As we go through exercise, saturated muscle oxygen will decline. As we recover, saturated muscle oxygen will rise. It's just like heart rate, which is off to the left over there, but it's more sensitive. And in my opinion, it is a passive way to look at lactate. So as we generate lactate, we see the numbers change. As we recover and process the lactate, we see the numbers change. Now when we look at hemoglobin, think of that like amps on a battery or in electrical conduits. The more amps you've got, the better. Well, guess what? At, and, at, in the middle of this warm-up, his THB is at 13.1. Well, he's got some current. The highest I've ever seen is maybe 15, and that's in just total elite athletes. So a small number of rise here is a big deal. Then we've got heart rate. He's got his chest strap on. We're gonna see what his max heart rate is, and we're gonna glean his, his uh, heart rate zones out based on the work that we do today. Then above that, we've got this thing called ventilatory expulsion in liters per minute. And we're going to study that because basically we want to see what it gets up to and basically how much stuff he can exhale every minute in terms of his lung capacity. Above that on the upper left is his respiratory frequency. And honestly, we're going to worry about that after the fact, but we want to see where it goes over time. We're about two uh, intervals into the warm-up, and Dusty, this time we're going to ride strong in the orange, so keep an eye on your, on your screen there. And what we're going to look at, folks, is how low his SMO2 can go. Now, as soon as the interval ends, I want you to glass pedal for 90 seconds. Here we go. Power up. That's it. 700 watts. Look at that. Boom. His SMO2 is dropping. His heart rate is rising. He's down to 18%, he's down to 17%. You can shift gears because it's based on slope. Okay, doing fine. 15%, five seconds. Three, two, one, and glass bow, glass bow. Slow, 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 slow. Down to like five RPM, real slow. Watch this number, folks, SMO2. So just real slow and easy, real slow. Take it easy. Good, good. Now you're gonna feel like the, you may get to a point where this may feel like it's 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 keep it, it's holding you back. When that happens, signal. Okay, either tap me or signal me. Okay, we gotta know. Slow down even more. It's going up to 43 percent. There's 45 percent. Okay, he's got plenty of time. 51, 54, 57. Good. We're looking for where it plateaus. Now he's only been doing this for 10 or 12 minutes. So what I expect is over minute 20 or 25, this number will rise well above 70%. It may even get up to 80%, we'll see. 
We're going to resume at three minutes. Okay. 67.2, 66. Okay. There's a 67. He's plateaued. He's plateaued. Go ahead and start pedaling. It's not going to give us any more numbers. Okay. Great. Okay. We can use SMO2 for a warm up uh, protocol. And again, it's more sensitive than heart rate. 